This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. Great time at Royal Orchid for the Confident Expert live experience. And now moving on. How did you enjoy the stay here? Loved it. Amazing as always. Yeah. But the Chinese food? Even better. <laughs> <laughs> I know you I know you didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. The background is making us look a little dark, so. <clears throat> An amazing time. There's the luggage bags here with us. There are a few more that they have taken already downstairs. So <sighs> feeling relieved a lot and inspired at the same time after the event. It's time to do some more. Time to pay some more money to this guy's now. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty. So let me sit down, alright? I'm sitting down, you come, huh? Yeah. Stop looking for approval. And here's what I mean. Um, when I travel so much and I'm, by the way, at the airport right now, just found a little corner at the sofas and sitting here. Uh, when I travel around the world, one of the challenges that I see in many people is they're constantly looking for approval from others. Um, just last few days, I uh, ran some amazing training right here in Bangalore and with some amazing uh, great professionals, subject matter experts, all of them. Uh, we had some bankers, IT professionals, Few people are in the managerial post. A few businesses, and one of the things that I see is. Um, Many of them had the habit of seeking approval from other people. Hey, do you respect me? Hey, do you like me? Um, I will make sure I do this, all these things at home so you like it and you like me. I'll do all the things in the office so that you like it and you like me. The problem with that is that when you're constantly looking for approval from other people, um, you don't control your own emotions. You don't control your own Self. You're constantly dependent on somebody else's decisions for you. So you might have done a great work, but if that person is not liking you, then you're like, oh my God, I did not do a good work. In, in fact, you did. So your feeling, your emotions, your mindset is being dependent on somebody else. Um, and that is not power. You see, power is when you can control how you feel, how you think, how you take action. So you might have some people in your life, it can be your children, it can be your, maybe your husband and or wife or whoever that person is, maybe your boss that you really respect, um, that you probably you seek approval from. I'm not asking, I'm not saying that you should do something so that they dis disapprove you, no. But you don't constantly want to look for approval. Um, I come from, if you know my story, you know that I come from a Bengali medium government school. So growing up, I did not have much confidence. Growing up, I did not have much um, belief about my own self. So I held back a lot. I always wanted to make my parents happy. I always wanted to make my brother happy. I always wanted to make, um, when I used to work for Business Standard, I always wanted to make my boss happy. When I used to work for, I mean, it's tiring. It's exhausting. It's, it's, uh, it's frustrating at one level but the day I started taking charge of my life the day I started taking control of my emotions they asked that the day I started seeking approval from me not a, not from somebody else my entire design changed of my life because now I was not dependent on someone 
I was completely... Somebody's calling. He's giving approval to somebody else. <laughs> he should. So once I changed that, my entire lifestyle changed. I felt more confident. That's when I showed up in this world in a powerful manner, in my relationships, in my health, in my... Uh, in my day-to-day -day conversations, meeting with strangers, business activities, everything exploded and skyrocketed. And now, the people that I helped in the last few days, they have done the same thing. Now, they are on their path to complete um, self-mastery for themselves uh, so that they are not afraid of judgment, they are not afraid of failure. They show up as the powerful version of themselves, speaking their knowledge, speaking their truth, speaking with confidence, presenting with excellence, adding humor to the presentation. When they come back home, they are powerful. They are not fearful. They don't want to be judged or they are not afraid of being judged. They are not afraid of um, not getting approval because they are not seeking approval. So if you are at a place where you are seeking approval and most often, generally, it's by people who share your last name your family members that's who most of us seek approval from but once you overcome this habit and overcome this mindset pattern and get into your confident powerful self life is going to be so much fun for you that's my tip for you right now going to be boarding on the flight in a few minutes my name is Bashal Sarkar always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection do you have for people who can't tolerate much hot weather like me you should tolerate, tolerate heat mm. hot woman, though. because yeah. heat is tolerating you yeah. the DJ is tolerating you so now you do so maybe you should 